No one ever expects it to happen to their family, but when it does, family is what matters most, and family is what gets us through it. I think if you ask people just on the run the mill who know our family, they, they generally say we're kind-hearted people. We just generally wish well for everybody and, and live by the golden rule. That's, that's kind of the Merriweather family. My four boys, they all are very, very different, very unique in their own ways. CJ, the oldest, is sweet when he wants to be. He loves art. Very kind kid. Chase, very sweet too. Both of them are, are, are very sweet kids. And they love each other a lot, but then they also get on each other's nerves a lot. Cole, a little bit of a monster sometimes, but a very sweet kid when he wants to be. I think that's all kids. And then we have Cassius. He's kind of chill. Very good baby. In October 2013, Chad and Chisa surprised CJ and Chase with a trip to Disney World. We got down there. It was late night. They wanted to get on the rides immediately. We let them know, hey, you gotta, gotta wait till the morning. But when we woke up for the morning, set the alarm to wake up, that the, was the first sign that something was a little off. What was initially thought to be simple dehydration turned out to be far more serious. Within 48 hours, Chase was fighting for his life at Florida Hospital for Children. A deadly flu strain attacked his internal organs and led to emergency surgery for a brain hemorrhage. Chase's prognosis was anything but certain. After being airlifted back to Philadelphia over many weeks, Chase made a slow but steady recovery but his doctors soon delivered another devastating diagnosis. The medications that saved Chase's life had restricted blood flow to his extremities, causing necrosis. His hands and feet had to be amputated. We were in the hospital, and the doctors were around, and we, they were kind of quietly talking about um, you know, him having to have amputations. He literally pulled me to the side, kind of with his arms, and he didn't have very limited arm function. And he grabbed the ball, and he throws the ball to me. He's like, throw it back, I'm gonna catch. From that moment on, never again has said, he can't do this, or, or how's he gonna do this? It's just, figure it out, go get it, you know. We literally, no pun intended, we were all in at that point. We were totally committed to making him be the best he possibly could be. That commitment began with finding the right prosthetist to get Chase back on his feet again and help him live life to the fullest. Chase being uh, a child, we'll, we'll see him for new legs at least once a year. And that will involve uh, hopefully making him uh, new everyday legs and then we'll probably make him new running legs or activity specific prosthesis every year. So there's a huge benefit with the partnership with Prosthetic Innovations and OSER and CAF. And we get to provide care to, to, to kids that otherwise would not have it. His lungs look beautiful. Thanks to that partnership and to a 2017 grant from the Challenged Athletes Foundation, Chase was presented with new running legs at a recent CAF running clinic. Now that Chase is up and running again, he and his family are paying it forward. They're raising funds so that other local amputee kids can chase their dreams too. We do it as a family. We do it as a family. And through that mindset, uh, we've gotten really the whole family all in in terms on what we want to accomplish for our son. Since the amputations, we, we realized Chase was just different. He doesn't let anything phase him. Chase has faced a lot in his young life, but his resilient spirit remains undaunted. He is an inspiration to everyone he meets. He attacks any obstacle. He knows that he can do everything and anything.
that's why we call him our little chase man. A superhero, some might say.